I'm Tony, he's Mike, and we hate ourselves, so we watch <laughs> Iron Eagle 2, so you don't have to. <laughs> when an outlaw nation takes the world hostage, America's oldest enemy, the Soviet makes, becomes her newest ally. The pride of Mother Russia! What do they do, trade me? It's going to take some kind of hero to take a bunch of renegades and a team of Russians and turn them into the first combined American-Soviet strike force. We'll have to send a maverick into each one of these shafts to blow that compound sky high. Rock and roll! If we fail, then we'll get a first-hand look at nuclear fallout. Gotta watch those right turns, homeboy. Lewis Gossett Jr. is back in Iron Eagle 2. <laughs> yeah, so uh, happy Thanksgiving on this one. I don't know if it's going to come out in time for that, but this, this, this movie's a f***ing turkey. <laughs> As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. The best thing about this movie is that Doug Masters dies five minutes into it. <laughs> your position. Need your upper on burning. Cobra. Doug! Him, his bullshit cassette tapes. You got something to play, Thumper? I got something that'll blow the roofs off in Anchorage. Let's do it. His, his whole, I can do 10 G's. That's 9.5, Thumper. She did her bail. I'm going for 10. If I miss, change my underwear before you bury me. Bye, Doug. <laughs> Bye. You will not be missed. <laughs> so in this, in this piece of shit fucking movie, um, you have... Uh, there's some third world country, some third country that has nuclear weapons and shit like that, so got to do nuclear... Sh they're going, to, they're going to do a strategic strike against the base that has the weapon. Here's, here's so, my question. Here's my question. Well, hang wait, on. wait, wait. I just got to ask one question here. This country is supposedly an equal threat to the United States and the Russians, and they're worried that it could get a nuclear strike on either. Where does this country exist? I'm just asking. I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> Middle Eastern, apparently. Um, but anyway, so to get to this bullshit f***ing plot, um, so they find out what this is. Um, the The... The colonel wants to do some strike, but they won't do it. The uh, bureaucrats have got some other plans that they want to do it's a for it. Joint strike team. We don't have time for some S9 plan thought up on Capitol Hill. Their missiles will be launch capable in three weeks. This S9 plan, as you choose to call it, just happens to have the support of both leaders involved. From where I stand, I don't see any alternative. The alternative was submitted to your office by the Joint Chiefs. And that's precisely the kind of preemptive, unilateral tactic this administration is trying to avoid. The operational goals are in the file. Now you look after the details and pick the team. So they, they have both an American and Soviet strike team put together, but the colonel purposely sabotages the plans by putting a bunch of misfits together. You losers. Just like they said, they sent you guys here because they knew that you were going to fail. And you know what? They picked right. Yeah, so they can go with his original plan, which yeah. is just to, you know, drop big bombs on it and blow the whole thing up, which really, I don't understand what the problem with his plan was in the first place. But apparently was, but... I don't know. Either way, it wouldn't need, like, a fighter escort or something like that in it uh, anyway. You can't just I, fly a plane over it and drop a bomb. I'm sorry. There's these <laughs> things called escorts. <laughs> um, Especially because they didn't... I mean, don't get me wrong, at that time there was stealth bombers, but that's not the bomber they show in this movie. No, 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 no. No, uh, no this thing wouldn't need an escort. This looked like a but TWA it, service plane. Yeah. So, <laughs> so like, anyways, in the bomber. <laughs> but, but either way, Chappie puts together this fucking bullshit fucking group of people. Um, General. A, General Chappie. <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter. They portray the fucking America as a bunch of fucking idiots. Yes, in this movie. I, 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 like like big time, like idiots, big time. jerks. It, I, yes. like, like really, like like this is the movie that like if you're American and you're military, you're either stupid or you're an asshole. Yeah. And that's that's how they all come off in this film. Yeah. Say, so, you got a problem over there, belly in there? Yes, uh, they they gave us broken blankets. <laughs> broken blankets, huh? You got any American dinero? Dinero? Yeah, you know, like cash, moolah. Greenbacks. 
I have only rubles. Give us our blankets. Hey, red light there, comrade. This ain't Russia, you know. See, everything's got a price on it. Yeah, re re really bad. Good representation there, buddy. <laughs> um, and the Soviets are just the opposite. Um, you know, very cordial, very polite, uh, beautiful. Professional. Profes yes. <laughs> Perfect. Couldn't say it any better. Yeah. It's, it's just, just fucking stupid. And, and, and then they steal the fucking Death Star fucking run. Full base in range. You may fire when ready. Commence primary ignition. Target surrounded by high speed cannons. Stay clear of them. You worry about those fighters, I'll worry about the tower. Cooper, get him off me. I have you now. What? You're clear, Zianko. Kid, now let's blow this thing and go home. Shot kid, that was one in a million. In the end, we got flying the cannon. We got these people cover us over in the end, and you got you got to shoot down this one exhaust vent to blow the whole place up. Yeah, and, and I even did that. Like, great shot, kid. That was one in a million. <laughs> this is the most underwritten piece of shit script I have seen in a very long time. And this this movie... hang on, hang on. We watched a shit ton oh. of other movies here recently. That's I'm sure true. It rings That's up true. There, it's, but it's, this it's is, pretty bad. This is bad. This is super bad. Um. It's boring. It's 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 un, all the characters are un, when when the Soviets are the people that you're like I don't why why are you being a dick to him? I, there's a problem with your movie and your yeah. portrayal of American military personnel. Um, the other thing that made zero sense so they they fly Beggars Canyon to get down the Death Star <laughs> trench run, but for some reason they fly a C-130 and then they have armored vehicles that go out and then they're standing outside <laughs> shooting. Because they're trying to blow up the SAM sites so that I, then the planes can come in and do the Death Star run. It's dumb. Nothing makes sense. I don't, I, I don't remember them setting charges up at the base. I don't know how that happened. Because the, the one dude is like, <laughs> well, we, we can't get up there. Or the, uh, the detonator is busted. Oh, wait. Bullshit technology. I'm going to use the, this radio that I got. I'm going <laughs> to tune it to the same frequency as the bomb. I'm going to run up there and it's going to magically detonate the... It's so, yeah, sending a signal out on the same frequency as the detonator. Downs, what's the transmitting frequency in this radio? Six to eight megahertz. Why? Excellent, Sergeant. The radio, it could set off the charges if you transmit close enough to the bunker. Yeah, no, I saw it. He's walking and he gets shot and I'm just kind of like, It'd be hilarious if he just didn't make it, <laughs> but he did. He, of course he did, because he's gonna die a hero rather than live to be a villain. But <laughs> this movie, is f I, I hate this movie. I, the, the, the people are so fucking dumb that <laughs> the little kids in the first movie would have like outplanned these people underneath the fucking table. Oh yeah, and had to oh, execute yeah. a perfect mission. <laughs> I, you know, the other thing is, let's let's be honest, there's, there's this major who's a US pilot who apparently is claustrophobic. <laughs> That's the perfect career for a, a, a jet pilot. But then they're flying in the canyon and he, he has a freak out. And then they're like, oh, maybe he shouldn't be on this team. And then later on, he's like, he has a chat with Cobra who, who kind of, you know, builds him up. You can do it, man, you can do it. You've got nothing to worry about. If it gets tight up there, just pretend you're all alone in the blue sky. That's what I do. Gets in that same canyon while they're doing their training and he just flies right into the wall. <laughs> There's no room. There's no room. Climb, climb, sir, climb. No! I, I laugh so hard. <laughs> This movie sucks. <laughs> um, it, it's it's borderline unwatchable. It's it's truly it the the only saving grace of this film is that the aerial photography is beautiful. So much so, I doubt anybody that in, was in the production had anything to do with it. <laughs> um, because uh, the rest of this film is just a giant shit sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's so poorly edited together. 
Like, even the combat scenes are just dumb. They don't make any sense. There's nothing coherent about any of this in this movie at all whatsoever. It's, and we're suckers for a good coming-of-age film. We're suckers for a good action film. Even a good, bad action film. But this this hits none of the marks. No. Uh, uh, um, uh, it, it's an F-grade film. And, you know, the sad part of it is, is that there's three more of these things we're going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> this is the low water mm. mark here. It only it can only get better, or it'll either there'll either actually be an improvement in the quality of the film, or there'll be so much worse than this that we'll find them hilarious. There's no middle ground. This is as low as it can get. I think I think the only movie reviewed that I hate more than this <laughs> is that piece of shit movie with uh, Angelina Jolie. Where she's the uh, forest <laughs> firefighter. Oh, those, like, like those the, that wish me dead. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's neck and neck. It's, it's that bad. Uh, yeah, f*** this movie. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. <laughs>